uh, you know, so far, I think uh, I think we're getting a lot better in the linebacker room, uh, just in terms of picking things up. You know, uh, in this defense, especially all defense, but in this defense especially, the linebacker there's a lot on his plate, um, from the knowledge of the fronts, the coverages, all those things. So, um, what I wanted to see is things carry over from the spring to the summer, and slowly but surely, we're not making the same mistakes. That way, we can make new mistakes and fix those. And uh, that's what I'm seeing. So, I think we've got quality depth. Um, I think we've got a lot of guys competing, uh, which is good. Um, I don't think anybody's comfortable with their spot, uh, which is how I want it right now. Um, and I'm really excited going into you know scrimmage one on Saturday. We've seen and heard a lot about Eugene Asante. Mm -hmm. uh, and what has he kind of done? You know, so far this offseason and, and the fall camp to, to really you know, stick out. From the time I got hired, I don't know if anybody had better energy than he did, um, maybe on our whole team. Um, and, uh, you know, I didn't I didn't know all about all our guys, but especially him just because he didn't play last year. This time, there was nothing to go off of. Um, but, man, he works so hard in the weight room. He's changed his body. You know, I think last year somebody told me he was more like 205-ish. He's over 220 now. Um, he's really what we like in, at a wheel linebacker that can cover and do multiple things. He's not the longest guy, but, but he's big enough. Um, and just, uh, he just doesn't have a bad day in terms of his attitude ever, you know. Um, he plays the next play when he screws up. Um, but, you know, I think he's made those guys around him better. Cam Riley, Wesley, Larry. You know, I think because Eugene brings it every single day, those guys have no choice but to bring it every single day too. So it's been a been a really good domino effect with Eugene. To the extent you can talk about it, you've been a part of some of, of, of some Auburn uh, recruiting wins recently. I guess what has it taken to kind of get some of that momentum? Um, Effort. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, this place sells itself, man. I've said it before. I mean, you know, I, I just – I'm very blessed to be able to recruit for Auburn. You know, um, I'm really passionate about it because, I mean, it's like living a dream being able to recruit for a place like this. So, um, but, I mean, we work really hard at it because everybody else in our league works really hard at it. So, um, we're going to try to keep keep it rolling. Another guy you mentioned, Larry, of course, wasn't here for the spring, but just what have you seen out of him so far in his time with the program? I've seen, I can tell how experienced he is by how quickly he picks things up, you know. Um, the biggest concern you have when you take a transfer at linebacker that isn't mid-year is how quickly can he pick up the defense. And I wasn't real comfortable in taking one after spring unless he was a guy like Larry that had all the production, played a lot. So um, it's easy to install and teach him things because he's played so much football, you know, he can translate it. You call it we call it this, we used to call it that, da 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 So um, I've been really impressed with his football knowledge. So um, he's been very consistent. Um, and you can tell he's got a lot of composure. He's, you can tell he's played a lot of football. How far how far has this group come since you walked on the field day one of the spring? I mean, light years, I guess, because just because, um, you know, you, you really didn't return hardly any production, right? You know, and just so you're just ball of clay. The defense is totally different than the one it was before. Not, not to not speaking like that's, that was the wrong defense, but it is just different. And um, so this – them picking it up um, is in a much, much better place. We're not where we need to be yet, but but in a much, much better place. We heard Robert the other day talk about how this is a linebacker-driven defense. From your perspective, just kind of what, what does that mean to you and kind of – how y'all prepare your linebackers? You know, we're the quarterback of the defense, right? You know, they've got a – you know, Coach Roberts is an inside – you know, he's coached inside backers a lot, you know, and there's a lot of checks and things on their shoulders, you know, so it's not – it's not as simple as just knowing on when we call orange table, I, I got to do this. It's when we call orange table, I got to do this, and if this happens, I got to get this guy here and A, B, and C. So, uh, so it's just it, – it's a lot on them, um, but – you can really tell who's embracing that and, you know, they kind of like it. You know, they like the leadership role and being in that. You know, they want that responsibility. So, uh, it's been fun. Austin comes in with SEC experience. Yes. Does that help you see him out there as well? Yes. You can, you can tell he's got an SEC build already. Um, and then on top of that, you can tell he knows how to practice like an SEC player. And, uh, you know, I'm really, I'm really enjoying his tenacity. He's not played perfect by any means, but you can tell he understands the physicality it takes to play in this conference. And that's what I like about Austin. Going back to Eugene, we, we've heard guys talk about him, talk about how the, the suddenness that he has. The, the, how valuable is a guy like that in a defense where you said, 
you've got to have guys that are versatile enough to, to play outside and do some different things. Does he bring some of that versatility? Yes, you know, when I first got here, came in here, I got asked, you know, what are we looking for in a linebacker? And the word I used was dynamic. And, uh, um, and that's what he brings. He's dynamic, right? He's not a one-trick pony. He can run. He's physical. He's smart. All those things, you know, we don't want the old school neck roll Mike linebacker in this defense anymore. You know, not that it's been lately, but that's just, that's just you can't you can't win that way. So we've got to have guys who can do multiple things. Just like Austin, you're talking about Austin can rush off the edge, you know, things like that. And that just allows us to have a really big toolbox when Coach Roberts is calling the defense. What are the most important things to see in the scrimmage on Saturday? I, I mean, you don't get a ton of opportunities to tackle in fall camp, you know what I mean? It's just that time, it's just that day and age where you don't tackle a ton in practice. So when we're alive, we've got to really take advantage of it. And you can't simulate that, right? I mean, when we go out there and we got to tackle Jarquez Hunter, I mean, that's a that's about as good of a look as we're gonna get. So uh, so we gotta go out there and we gotta execute. But I'm really the tackling by far is what I'm looking for. Those two guys in the jack spot, how are they different? Maybe how are they kind of similar as well? Um, talking about what the difference of the jack position and the inside backer position? No, um, like so Elijah and, and Jalen. Like, oh, they, I got they, you. How they compare yes. and, you know, how are the tools, tool belts a little bit different? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, you're going to see those guys more on the edge than you are inside and things like that. Um, those guys do have to be on the same page with my guys a lot, uh, um, the inside backers, because their roles, um, you know, what they're doing on any given play are go hand in hand. You know, they've got to be on the same page. You know, it's kind of like basketball, right? You know, you're playing help defense with one guy and this, that, and the other. So uh, they've got to be on the same page, um, and then they've got to be—they've got to be really smart players too. You know, that's why it's a—it's a—it's not a D-line position; it's a jack. It's something totally different, where they've got to be able to do a lot of things. That's why they have one coach, and not—they're they're not in that D-line room all the time. So uh, that they've got to have a lot of intel football intelligence too. We've heard communication a bunch. You talked about it. How, mm -hmm. how, how much does that ramp up when you have the tempo and the speed that you guys do every day? Yeah, that's great. You know, I think I think that was a big adjustment. Honestly, one of the bigger things defensively when we first got here that I that I didn't even think about was not only are we running a new defense, but they're also facing a totally different offense in practice than they were used to going against last year, right? So they're in the middle of trying to learn a brand new defense, and then they're practicing also at a totally different pace. So it kind of stunted our growth, honestly, on defense in the spring a little bit, you know. Um, uh, but I think we've caught up to it. I think they've learned how. And it makes us better, you know. It makes us better. When we go play a tempo team like, a, um, you know, Arkansas was that last year. I don't know if they're going to be that this year. You know, Ole Miss, people like that, you know. Um, it's going to make us better. So, uh, you know, we, we tell our kids to welcome that. You know what I mean? This is a great opportunity to get learned versus to, to learn. Cam Riley's a guy that obviously played a bunch last mm -hmm. year. How would you kind of assess maybe where he's at right now? I mean, he's competing for that starting spot. You know, he's 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 splitting those one reps a lot. Um, you know, Cam's probably our – if we were to move one of those guys down in like a jack alignment or a Sam linebacker alignment, Cam would be the first guy up, and he's working at that too. Um, you know, I could see Cam, uh, whether he's starting or not, he probably – has a good chance to play the most snaps of anybody in the room just because he's doing multiple things, right? You know, um, you know, we had a guy at Liberty like that last year. He only started eight games, but I think he played way more snaps than anybody just because he was always in on something, right? Um, and you need, like I said, you need those dynamic guys. And and what you get with Cam, like you said, is experience, right? You know, it's just he's just playing in a different spot than he was previously. So he's just getting a feel for that more natural linebacker spot. Um, so this this defense and and the way you guys want to play with the linebackers does it allow him a guy like that? You, know, you just talked about versatility to yes. be able to step up and, and yes, pass, that guy that, that guy rushes a lot. That guy rushes a lot. He's in that position a lot. You know so. Um, and it could even be where you know you 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 flip which linebackers are in personnel wise, right? Like they're in, they got two tight ends of the game. We'd rather have Cam in or this that and the other, you know. So, um, but Cam is probably our best candidate when we want to put one of those guys down on the edge, for sure. Him and Austin, um, he's just so long. He's really good at using his hands and stuff like that. And you know, I know we're talking about Austin having SEC experience in another place, but Cam's got a lot of SEC experience here, right? So. Um, so he, he's had a good camp. Camp's had a good camp. You, you, you mentioning guys in, in, in different roles, the depth and allowing to play more guys. Is that kind of a focus going in? Like we want to, you want to rotate some guys and roll some guys? Yeah, you know, I've been asked that a lot. I mean, I definitely, in a perfect world, it's what I want to do. But at the same time, I'm not going to put anybody out there that I don't think is going to help us. You know, if we only got four, we'll play with four. 
that I think they'll help us win. Um, I, I, I'd like to think we're going to have at least five, hopefully. Um, but, but yeah, definitely, we, we, we needed to roll. You know, those guys have got to be key players on special teams. You know, the linebackers are usually on every special team. So uh, that, that, that's, that's what you forget sometimes is, I mean, that's an extra what? 15 snaps a game, you know, running down on kickoff and a punt and all that other stuff. So, um, so they've got to be able to roll on defense because they're also on those special teams. Is Asante is, is a good example of, of one of those guys that, you know, didn't do a lot last year to play? New staff comes in and it's like he's a new guy, this new opportunity. I mean, it seems like he's a good example of yeah. a start. Kinda. Yeah, and I, I don't want to air out anything about Eugene's personal life, but Eugene yeah, yeah. had a tough year last year. Yeah. You know, he had a tough year. And uh, um, I think he's just kind of cleared his head and um, they obviously signed him here for a reason because they thought he was going to be a great player and uh, you know he's just I don't know he's just really caught on to it he's a joy to coach man I love coaching him he's a fun kid um, so uh, hopefully I think I think he will have a great season um, regardless if he's in the starting role or whatever but uh, I think I think he's a, I think he's definitely going to help us a lot this year and all the fans should be keeping an eye out for him. How much has, has Robert progressed since the spring? Either? Yeah he's progressed a lot you know Robert, Robert's just so young, man. You know, um, he's, uh, you know, I know he redshirted last year, but he was hurt. You know, I mean, he wasn't full speed. So to say that he redshirted and learned a lot and this, that, and the other, that's not, that's not accurate. You know, he was hurt. So, um, so he's still, he's our youngest guy, right, in that room because we didn't sign a high school linebacker last year. So um, Robert's biggest thing is just consistency. He puts things on tape. He looks like an SEC Mike linebacker, okay? But three other plays, it won't, you know? And that comes with coaching a young guy, you know? And he knows that. Um, so, um, but but he's getting better every day. He's had his best two practices, the last two practices. Um, and, uh, but he's just, he's just young and growing. You, were, you worked with Steven Singh's Yes, sir, he's I did. Not, he's not in the other linebacker room, but, but you're really familiar with what yeah. kind of player Robert's getting. Yes. What, what can you tell us about Steven Singh? Yeah, actually, I recruited Steve, um, you know, so, uh, Steve, if y'all don't know Steve's story, Steve, Steve was committed to Virginia Tech. Okay, had some academic problems. COVID hit, and they waived everything academically, and we swooped in at Liberty and got and signed him before anybody else signed him. So I mean, he's a Power Five football player, and. Uh, Man, Steve is just so genuine and grateful. He works so hard. You're going to see a crazy motor man. Him and you watch him and Jalen. They like, regardless of their athletic ability, they play so flipping hard. Um, both of them. It is, it is fun to watch. Um, so you're going to get a high motor guy and, and a guy that's going to lay, leave it all out there every Sunday, every Saturday. How much do guys like that? And in, in how much do they, do they infect an entire defense when you have guys like that? On the well, they, you know, sometimes they make other guys look bad, you know, because they're moving at a certain speed, and here comes everybody else, right, chasing the football, right? So you have a defensive meeting, and you can hold those guys accountable. Well, hey, buddy, you weigh 20 pounds less than that guy, and there he goes. What are you doing? You know, and so uh, it's just a lot. It's a way you can hold people accountable. And, uh, and, you know, uh, it's, it's infectious. It's infectious. It's not a coincidence that our first day of practice, we go out there and Eugene's chasing the football. And we got a few guys that don't. And the next day, we got three more guys chasing the football. You know, um, that, this guy's, this is how it looks, you know. So um, it, it's great. It's great.